My name is Claudia Paladini. I am Italian and I'm a postdoc researcher at the Institute of Astronomy and Astrophysics of the Engelby. My research uh, topic is uh, in the field of stellar astrophysics and uh, I study in particular a class of stars called red giants and this is, you can imagine, like the future of our Sun. Uh, during this evolutionary stage uh, there are several mechanisms happening, occurring in the atmosphere of the star and in particular I'm interested in the stellar wind uh, that uh, brings the material produced during the life cycle of the, of the star in the space and uh, this material will become then the building block of uh, new generation of stars, planets and eventually life. And uh, my research focuses on understanding uh, how this mechanism really works, what drives the wind. I was uh, interested uh, in, uh, in and fascinated by astronomy since when I was really a child and I had my grandfather showing me at five years old uh, uh, the sky and how the, the fishermen were finding their way by looking at the position of the stars and from a passion this became then a job today and uh, today what I'm really interested in is understanding what will happen to the sun and what will happen to the earth so like predicting the future and by looking at the real objects that uh, we can observe today. I brought a matrioska if you look at it it's just a woody doll but uh, if you want to understand it really uh, you need to open it and then uh, you will maybe find a different material, different colors and uh, it's the same with the stars that I study because if you look at the sky they will look like single bright spots but in fact with the technique that I use, interferometry, I can observe the object, the star like a disc like we see our sun and I can really slice the object and I can recognize the different material and uh, where the stellar wind is starting and uh, I think this is also a good metaphor for science because you should never, as a scientist, stop just at the appearance but you should look inside to understand what is going on.